Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what unexpected news is coming for you in your love life. So this can be any time. I feel like this is a timeless reading. So this can be when people, will, if people will contact you, if there's any unexpected news, unexpected, any unexpected changes for you. So let's get started. So we have crit number one, two, three, and four. And I'm also gonna put some crystal cards onto the decks now. So we have crit number one with the quartz, crit number two with the amatrine, crit number three with the lumerian quartz, and crit number four with the rose quartz. So let's see what unexpected news is coming in for you. And if you wanna pause the video for extra time, please do so. And all the time stats will be down below and in the comment section as usual. So let's get started with group number one. Hello, group number one. So let's get started with your reading and let's see what's coming for you guys unexpectedly in your love life. So the first one we have is the clear quartz, which I really, really love, such a beautiful crystal. So this crystal is really, really good for clearing. It's really good for enhancing your vision. So I feel like whenever unexpected news is coming towards you, I feel like it's gonna make you feel much more clearer. It's gonna make you feel like you can really connect to your body, connect to spirituality and be very, very clear about what your vision is in love. And I feel like it's just gonna clear out. So it's either, detoxifying or it's really just going to clear the slate for you okay so let's get all the cards out for you so we have inner temple devotion tune to the portal of your heart i love that that's so cool and then we have break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future we then have a sagittarius and we also have the third house okay so for you guys i feel like you're easily going to get a message from a sagittarius or another fire sign because the third house is all about messages, it's all about communication, and it's with the social media and the internet and things like that, it's all to do with communication. So I do feel something kind of going on in my throat chakra. So I feel like something's gonna feel very clear about this situation. So for you guys, you are really clearing out ancestral patterns around who you are and, and your approach to your love life, okay? And the more you connect to your heart, the clearer this will feel, okay? And it's all about meditation and, and clearing out what no longer serves you. I also feel like it could be a little bit of travel going on around your love life. So that could be really affecting your love life in some way. Maybe you move house, maybe you kind of meet somebody when you're traveling or kind of when I'm hearing when, I, when you're seeing family, I'm hearing when I see my mum. So that's what possibly what you guys are doing if you're traveling to see your mum or something like that or a, a parent or some sort of like family member here. I do feel like for you guys, it's redevoting yourself to, to yourself physically and really kind of connecting to your heart chakra. I feel that's a really, really strong message. Um, when it says break the chain as well, I feel like this is you really just clearing out no any patterns or repeating cycles that no longer serve you. So I feel like the unexpected news that you're gonna have, quite a slow process, but I feel like the unexpected news is you're gonna see yourself differently the next time you're in a relationship or possibly as this could be for people who are also still in, also in a relationship it could show it's showing as well that you're going to see your relationship possibly different and more open or you're going to have a sudden realization about your relationship that you're in and you're going to begin to to change how you feel about it and I do definitely feel like there's a massive healing around your love life and how you connect to others and how you connect to your relationships and I feel like here is showing me that you guys are starting to look forward and not so much in the past or the future, just being very present in this moment right now. And they're saying to look over here. Okay, so <clears throat> they say it's the stone of Gemini's as well. And it says, when you find yourself believing the limitations your mind puts in front of you, <coughs> sorry guys, call on quartz to help you see through the illusions, clear the mind of self-doubt. Something is going on in my throat. I think we just got to let it sit there. Surrender the will of the universe and start manifesting the impossible. I feel like you guys are really working with your throat chakra because my throat feels really foggy and froggy. <laughs> um, yeah, it feels very, very kind of, yeah, just very, I don't know how to explain it. It just feels very stuck and like I need to cough <coughs> and have a drink or something. I don't know, it's very weird. So, so that's what I'm feeling for you guys in that area. So let's have a look at tarot and see what that wants to say about this reading today. And we're gonna use the tarot, uh, the astrology dice as well. Okay, so we have temperance here. So yeah, definitely gaining balance. 
that's the kind of unexpected news. I feel like you're going to attract somebody quite quickly. Yep, there it is. You're going to, your unexpected news is going to come from possibly an air sign or a, a water sign. And they're going to be somebody who's very invested in their work. It could be somebody you meet through, um, I'm hearing your investments. So whatever you're investing yourself in right now, and it feels like something you haven't invested in before. So it could be a new project. It could be a new work endeavor, that sort of thing. It feels like the unexpected news is kind of, yeah, somebody you're not expecting to come into your life. That's what I'm feeling. Some of you could be a fire sign as well. Um, it feels like coming from somebody who's very mature and they're really ready to start a relationship and it could be somebody you're not expecting. I'm actually hearing a friend's brother. So it could be like a friend of a friend or something like that in some sort of like friendship connection. And I think because you're not expecting it, when you meet this person, you're not gonna really see them as a love connection at first. You're just gonna be doing your own thing and this person's gonna help heal you in love as well. They're gonna help you to say like, look, it's gonna be okay. You can just drop all this anxiety that you have right now and really connect to your heart chakra. And we also have the hermit here as well. So the hermit is showing me that you guys have been in quite like a slow process in your love life. Everything's been kind of slow, kind of confusing. And I feel like for you guys, it's gonna it's gonna change for you and you're gonna feel much more um, free. You're gonna feel much more free in your love life. And I feel like all the inner work that you've been doing has been worth it. And you're really clearing out the gutters and, and finding something new. So what else is happening for group number one in their love life? Okay, so we have Libra Venus, which is beautiful. That is the, Venus is the planet of Libra and the sixth house. So the sixth house is all about work. So I feel like you're gonna invest yourself in your work. It's also to do with your health and how you invest yourself with service and things like that. So I feel like the more you tune into loving yourself and your work and your business or your body, tuning into that energy, this is gonna bring this in and you're, you're starting to have balance in your love life. You're, like, you're learning that balance is key here and that's something that you're really uh, tuning into and connecting to. And I just see success, I see forward movement and I see somebody coming in who possibly in Aries, I'm getting Aries, Pisces and Aquarius coming in quite strongly as well. And there's somebody who has, they're also waiting for success. So I think once they get the success, that's how the universe is gonna kind of match you up. And then they're gonna say, all right, they're, they're ready now, let's get this started. Okay, so let's have a little look at your person and let's just get one card about kind of what they could be doing right now or kind of what the sort of situation is to do with your love life. Okay, so let's have a look and see. Okay. So we have justice, which is literally about Libra. I love that. So they could be in the justice system. They could also be um, somebody who is to do with law or quality. They could be something to do with rights or protesting or something like that. Um, but I feel like it could be also you, if you're working in law or something to do with protection, then I feel like you can meet them through that. Your life purpose fully supports you. So I feel like if you're worried about your life purpose and where you're going with it and you're thinking, well, it's not going to give me money, it's not going to match up, it's not going to give me any abundance, this is the clarification that it is going to give you abundance and it is going to support you. And this person coming in is just clarification of that. Some, for some reason they're saying like your person is like a signal that your life purpose is going to work out. It's kind of like you have the universe's full, full support and just trust in this situation, whether it be life purpose or love life, you know, it, it's a very similar thing, you know, whatever we're drawn to is what what will be, you know. So that is your reading, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. And if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop. Thank you so much and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started and let's see what unexpected news is coming for you in your love life. So we have the card of Amatrine and Amatrine is a combination of Citrine and Amethyst. It's a really good crystal for abundance and financial abundance and love. And it's that really good kind of combination of the physical and the earth plane. So the citrine is more to do with the earth plane and the amethyst is to do with the crown chakra and really high vibrational energy. So I feel like you guys are really working towards a very spiritual career or you could have a very spiritual career. And this is gonna drink, bring you and draw you towards your partner and your love life and just help you in your love life as well. Okay, so we have warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? And that's what I'm feeling like. Some of you guys, you're moving towards a more spiritual path and kind of doing more of that in your life. 
really connecting. You go first, Universal Catcher. Yeah, you guys have been really worrying about your love life and, and your life purpose as well. And I feel like those two are going really hand in hand. So I feel like there's gonna be a Pisces around you who's gonna kind of give you a little bit of an oomph. You could be the Pisces that's also giving yourself the oomph. But I feel like you're gonna meet someone through your creativity. I feel like you're gonna meet someone who's also very creative, very spiritual and very open to a lot of change. There's somebody who's very fluid and it's kind of all about leaping into the unknown and kind of completely taking off the reins and letting the universe just catch you and let the letting letting the universe just just putting your trust in the universe and letting it just yeah just trust in the universe and i feel like with this warrior woman you guys are kind of struggling to break that barrier break that threshold whether it be through your life purpose or your um career or your love life i feel like it's all very much connected all they're basically saying is you need to push yourself forward and it might be kind of giving yourself a little bit of a confidence boost but i feel like it's really really good for you to kind of bring yourself to a place and just trust yourself and know that if there's something you want to do in this life then this is just a signal that you can do that okay and it says here that if a deadline is on the horizon and you need a big idea if you can't decide on some, something, swipe left or swipe right, call on Amatrine and remember, either way, everything is going to be amazing, beautiful. So this is also for the chronically indecisive. So you guys might be really indecisive. And um, this is for Libras, it says as well. And it says to put this wherever you do your thinking. And it also says about mental chatter as well. So it says to put it in the bath, near the bathtub or the office, wherever you do your thinking. So there's definitely an energy of having an unexpected news around your career, like having some sort of creative download. It doesn't have to be career based. It could just be something that you're really passionate about. You get a sudden idea and it could be a definitely an intuitive hit because Pisces is very, very intuitive. And I feel like this is you. I feel like this is definitely you finding your partner. If you guys are single watching this, 100%. I feel like you guys are really changing as well. You're changing with the tides. We're changing with the moon. And I feel like getting a, getting to be near water and nature is going to really bring this in and, and, and ground you as well. I feel like you guys are feeling a little bit ungrounded. And this is also just saying that you don't have to put loads of armor on to go out to go outside and do the things you want to do. All it comes with is it's just like it's an internal thing. It's kind of like starting from the inwards and kind of working your way outwards. So if you can work on what's going on in here, then you can really be confident. And I think it's just a confidence thing. I think you guys are really working on your confidence. And I think for you guys, it's really important for you to create that energy around you so create that creativity whether it's starting something you've always wanted to do whether it's like a hobby or whether it's just maybe doing some singing or dancing you know just really just expressing yourself that's going to bring your person in because they're also very expressive and you could be manifesting a musician as well that's what i'm picking up on really really strongly okay so let's have a look at your dice oops that dropped okay yay we have the seventh house that's all about relationships we have Leo and we also have Pluto. Pluto is a really big changing planet. Pluto is a very deep planet. Pluto rules Scorpio, Scorpio rules Pluto, Pluto. So this is all about transformation of your love life. Your love life is about to transform. And the unexpected news is this kind of download coming in that's going to change this. And it could be a message from a Leo as well. I feel like for you guys, I'm picking up on you. The person that you're going to meet, if, if you are single, the person you're going to meet, they're going for a huge transformation right now. And when they come out of it, the universe is going to join you two up. And you're, and you're taking this leap of faith, whatever it is, whether it's really small, really big. When you do that, you're giving yourself more of a chance to meet your person as well. OK, and there's definitely a duality here of like breaking that threshold. So it's going to come with change. So it could be changing your diet, changing your body image. Uh, in, in like a good way like making yourself feel more healthier um, it could be being around family more being in your career more it's kind of like you're making a conscious change somehow and that's that leap of faith and, and, and giving yourself permission to really rise and you guys might get a download through your dreams as well Pisces is all about subconscious and dreams so you, and this is kind of astral traveling as well so you guys get might get a lot of messages through your dreams and through your intuition about um, your love life changing and shifting okay so let's have a look at your tarot and let's see if there's any sort of changes coming in. All right, so we have the King of Wands. That is beautiful. So there could be somebody very passionate coming towards you who's possibly from far away. They could be currently on the move, I'm hearing. So they could be moving house. They could be currently, um, yeah, changing up their environment somehow, moving away from family, 
something like that. It feels like you're going to meet somebody through a massive change. They could be going to uni, college, you know, it feels like they're going away from there or they know to get to you. Okay. And this is kind of showing me that you guys are, have been waiting for this for quite a long time. You're manifesting that love life that you've wanted for such a long time. And you may have thought, that, oh, it's not going to come, you know, it's not going to manifest. And you guys might also be feeling quite delicate and gentle as well in your love life right now. Your heart may be kind of, you may be feeling it in your heart chakra and you may be feeling quite delicate. So just give your space, give yourself that space and time. And I feel like for you guys, it's really important to connect to your inner child. That's really going to help you to um, draw in somebody who's on your wavelength and they're going to be part of that as well. So you could be um, meeting them through your children or you could be have met them through childhood or they could just be somebody from a past life who you've known for a long time. It just feels like they're coming in when you're in a period of hermit mode as well. So it could be like, you could be thinking, okay, why am I feeling the need to be like inward? And, and I'm, but I'm also feeling really restless. It's that energy of expansion, but it's like inward expansion. I never actually thought about it like that because sometimes I feel like that. I feel very tired, but my body feels really restless. So I think that's what that is. It's kind of an inward expansion, but we don't know what it is until we actually get to that physical manifestation because we can't always tell what's going on with us emotionally. So I feel like for you guys, you're really balancing out that energy and therefore that's going to bring in your person because whether you're bringing in masculine energy or feminine you're balancing both of the two and that's manifesting somebody who's really <coughs> excuse me <coughs> on your wavelength as well sorry my throat is really doing something I feel like you guys are really working on your throat chakra okay let's get a little bit more info on this person or this energy coming in I feel like your person could be into fitness as well. Okay, so we have oracle cards. I love that. You're able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. So you could be a tarot reader yourself or you could just really enjoy oracle cards. You could meet somebody through like a spiritual shop or a spiritual um, event. And we have sensitivity. Yeah, your person is very sensitive that you're kind of connecting to. They are a Pisces um, energy. So I feel like, yeah, they're also wanting freedom. They're kind of manifesting a different lifestyle that, that other people probably look down on them and think, oh, that's not really a good idea. But that that's what suits their lifestyle. That's what suits them. And there's somebody who, when you become more sensitive, they are as well. Both of you are really connecting on it. On, on the same level with each other as well. So I do feel like unexpected news coming in is somebody who's very sensitive coming in. You're also becoming more sensitive and that's gonna really impact your love life. Somebody who's driven, possibly an Aries as well, could be a Sag or a Leo. And it feels like somebody who is just very, yeah, just sees you in a really intense light and really wants to manifest a good relationship with you. And they also, I'm hearing in about two to three weeks when you meet, when you meet them, it'll about to be, okay words when you meet them it will be about two to three weeks and then you'll be in a relationship with them that's what i'm picking up on some of you guys you might be manifesting a photographer as well somebody's really good with technology and like digital art something like that possibly graphic design as well possibly somebody just very creative and very sensitive so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading all my all my information is down below along with my crystal shop thank you so much for being here i love you guys and i'll speak to you soon bye Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started and let's see what unexpected news is coming for you guys in your love life. So this is the Lemurian Quartz. This is a very high vibrational energy. It's kind of like moving forward and upwards. So for you guys, it says, anyone in need of a vacation from their thoughts? Lemurians are like wands, point them at body parts, friends, and other crystals that need more juice. When to use it? Whenever someone or something you love needs a zap of healing energy. Awaken your inner wizard or witch and cast a spell with the Marian Quartz. Escape your mind. So I feel like this is a really strong energy around things just magically shifting. I think that's quite a good card, especially for the fact that this is unexpected news, because I feel like that is that energy of like something just magically being zapped and like, okay, things are now shifting. You know, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Just things are now shifting. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So we have the Age of Light. You've been training with this for lifetimes. We have star seed, what lights you up? And I also have here council of light, divine orchestration, helpers in the subtle realms. So let's see what else we have here. Okay, we have Mars. We have the first quarter. Let's move these along here. We have the first quarter and we also have 
Capricorn. So I feel like you're gonna get a massive drive within your career. And I think that's what's gonna shift you towards your love life. It's kind of like you get, you think, okay, well, how is that connected? But actually something shifts in your work and that's gonna trigger like a ripple it through in your love life. And for you guys, you're, you're starting to figure out what makes you happy, what, what lights you up, what makes you feel really, really good. And your ancestors are here kind of guiding you to where you need to go. I feel like you guys are really working on your chakras as well. And you're being very, very aware of, of the things that, that make you feel really good. We have the age of light. You've been training this a lifetime. So this is the love relationship of a lifetime. This is something, this is why for you guys, you've probably been through quite a lot of issues with your love life because you've generally been training for this for lifetimes. You need to go through this energy so you can manifest your person. And the first quarter represents taking action, making moves and pushing through any obstacles. So that is that Mars energy. Mars is very sexual, it is intense, it is driven and Capricorn is also very driven. So I feel like you're gonna manifest possibly a Capricorn energy or somebody through work and they are, they are part of this journey. It's almost like I'm seeing these as stepping stones. So you're acknowledging that you're possibly a star seed or somebody who's very mystical and you're really opening up to spirituality more and more and therefore you are beginning to work with this path and drawing this person. This person could also be an Aries or a Scorpio because Mars rules those two zodiac signs as well. And for you guys, it's kind of giving yourself permission to find things that light you up and make you feel good and nourish you. Because a lot of the time we can really focus on things that we don't enjoy and it can really make our lives slower and more intense and it's kind of just giving ourselves permission to bring that in and draw that in and also when you do that you're going to manifest a group of people who are really on your wavelength so you could beat this person through work or through a really big group of people or through a special group of people that are on your wavelength okay and these pay these people are going to help you in in your love life and in your life in general as well okay let's have a look and see what else we have all right, so we have Cancerian, we have the moon, we have the 12th house. So yeah, this is literally training for this for lifetimes. You guys are going for a really big emotional shift and you're also learning to nurture yourself. You're learning to not go through, uh, not work on code, okay, words, sorry guys. You're working on codependency, but it's kind of like you're moving away from that and it's kind of like you're having to really step into your own power. And the 12th house is Pisces. It's all about your... You're, you're kind of like your dreams, your subconscious. It's if you have any planets in the 12th house as well, look out for that, guys. And you might even have Cancerian in the 12th house. So this could be manifesting a Cancerian too, but it feels like you're you're now figuring out you are the most important person in your life and you're driving yourself forward. It's, it's bringing you more towards an empowered place. And we have all these really big um, symbolic people here. Like we have, I think we have Buddha here. We have, I think this is Jesus and um, and things like that here. So I feel like this is, this is a very important relationship that you're going to manifest in your love life. And if you guys are already with somebody, this is going to be the clarification that you are with the person who you want, who you want to spend the rest of your life with. If they're very driven, I feel like that's extra clarification. Yeah, I feel like this is very, very important for you guys. We also have like the number 10 here as well. So that's just ama amazingly just showing you that there's a massive amount of things changing in your career. I see just changing your career and also that's when your love life starts to kind of kick off. So it doesn't have to be like a massive career change. It could mean that your career just kicks off in a good way. Like it, it really, it starts to, um, you start to manifest more money, possibly really good, uh, really good customers, really lovely um clients or just um people around you that you work with you're just manifesting a really nice group of people who are on your wavelength all right so let's get you some tarot let's see what wants to come out for your tarot let's give this a little bit of a shuffle all let's do a couple more do we want this one yeah they're saying yeah we want that one yeah they're all excited they're all excited up there <laughs> Okay, beautiful. All right, so Six of Cups. Six of Cups is all about the childlike energy. It's about you figuring out what your inner child needs. And also you're manifesting somebody who's part of that. Um, I'm here in tribe, so you probably were in a tribe with this person in one of your past lives. So this person's now gonna be part of your tribe again, but in the modern age. They could have also worked with tribes, so they could be somebody who protects indigenous tribes and things like that. 
they could be just very very spiritual really into nature okay so you guys have really been working on your inner child you could be working on your relationship with your mother as well and that could really be um drawing out a lot of emotions there's something that's shifting into high gear here i feel like you're really learning what you need out of love and you want to manifest somebody who is really stable i think you've had too many unstable partners in the past and now it's time for somebody who's really stable and you have choices with this person it's almost like this person will give you choices. They're not somebody who will hold you down. They will make you feel really, really good. And the Queen of Cups is all about that love energy. It's all that high vibrational, mothering, nurturing energy. And they'll make you feel really happy. They'll make you feel like this is the only person I ever want to be with. And they're not going to make you doubt who you are or who they are. They're just going to be their authentic self of you. And then we have the emperor as well so this is like massive aries energy somebody's driven that's that mars energy i was picking up on as well so there could be a earth or a fire sign here and you could be the water sign but take it as it resonates and the three of swords is showing me that you guys have been through so much hurt you may kind of be put off by this person and think oh i don't know maybe they're just kind of good for work or you know somebody to work with on a project but then you start to realize actually you have more options around this person than what you think you do and then you can really manifest like this really beautiful love connection with them. Alrighty. Okay, also if you guys are going through a breakup or something quite intense, just know that it is changing and shifting for you. And you did break up with that person for a reason. And it was meant to happen. It was meant to happen like that for a reason. Okay, so just know that you made the right decision for those of you who are kind of debating on that. Okay, so this person is very family orientated. They could have quite a bit of Aquarius in their chart, maybe Aquarius rising, Aquarius moon. And there's somebody who is going to bring you ultimate abundance, infinite abundance. And their life purpose could literally be their family. So they could be a very family orientated person. They could uh, work with children, work with families like counselling or something. And they could work with oracle cards as well. So you could be on quite a spiritual level. They just have oracle cards or they see see you with your oracle cards and maybe they want to get a reading from you or something something like that um but also you could be the sort of person that gives them guidance in their life you could be a counselor or something and they could be your client and that could be how you meet them and that's why you're possibly not like oh i don't know if i should be with this person because i've been hurt in the past but actually and then you think oh i just want them in in work and not love life but then you realize no this is something that i want they're going to fulfill me emotionally and with this is showing me that things are really shifting in your love life the, the news that's coming is that this person is going to suddenly pop in your love life or you're going to get a sudden realization about how you feel about them it could be they work have been working in your work for like five years or they could have been your friend for like a long time and then you suddenly realize hmm, they could be like a partner you know but for some of you who are completely single and have no one around I see that you have gone through heartbreak and now you're manifesting somebody who's much more stable and not, I'm hearing, okay, I'm hearing not effed up, okay, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. I love my guides, they're so sassy. And with your family, I feel like you can even meet your person through family or friends, okay? So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal store, all the information's down below. Thank you so much for being here and I love you and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your love reading. So you guys got rose quartz, first of all. This is obviously a very, very, very love orientated crystal. It's about abundance, self-love, and kind of just compassion and opening your heart chakra. So you guys could be really working on opening your heart chakra and really letting love come in. You guys could also be going through quite an emotional phase where you're feeling a little bit up and down with your emotions. That is totally fine. That's very normal. A lot of people are going through that at the moment because we're being triggered, you know, in various different ways. So this is the crystal for, for sleep as well. If you're struggling with sleep, rose quartz is really good for that. I recommend um, rough rose quartz because it's in its mo most natural state and it can help you sleep. I actually have rose quartz near my bed and I sell them in my shop as well because I absolutely love them. They're so helpful and they help me get to sleep. They just completely relax your body. They help you feel safe as well. So this is for the person when you feel like you always have to be the one to have it all figured out, to work the hardest, to hold it all together for everyone else. Rose Quartz gives us a pink cashmere covered platform to be soft, sweet and open to spirit. Take care of your heart. So this is also for people who are overly self-critical, sentient spiritual beings who love deeply, those in the healing arts or those who want to be. So it, is, it says Rose Quartz is love in rock form and it also says 
where to put it in spaces you want to zone safe and sacred held with both hands to your heart with the utmost loving kindness so this is bringing in that kindness and also just allowing yourself to feel because sometimes we just stop ourselves we're like oh no it has to be logical it has to be like da 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 but actually just feel it what what is it that you're feeling is it sadness is it frustration is it guilt is it jealousy they're all connected and that doesn't have to be about your love life it can be in work it can be triggered by somebody being angry at you you know it's various different things so just take it as it resonates okay so we have deep replenishment retreat rest be held that's very much to do with rose quartz and palladians oh no palladies sorry double mission channeling and uplifting humanity wow okay we have origins fourth house Aquarius and we also have sixth house so you guys your job could be to do with uplifting humanity in various different ways you could be a healer you could be a psychic you could be a Reiki master you could be somebody who does yoga practice it could be a yoga practitioner you could be a counselor or you could just be somebody who just wants to help humanity and you possibly haven't found your purpose yet and that's totally fine the fact that you're wanting to help humanity is a purpose in itself so don't like don't judge yourself on if you haven't found your career or whatever. That isn't what the most important thing is. The most important thing is finding your safe space and just helping humanity in whatever way you feel with the need to. That's what's really important. And for you guys, you're going through quite a big hermit mode and you're realising kind of for you guys you've been single for quite a while or you've kind of been secluded away from love for quite a while or you have literally just broken up with somebody and needed to be held and rest okay you guys have a really big mission and the person you're going to manifest has an extremely big mission too this person could live near you you could meet them around your house or you could meet them through working from home as well we also have service so your service could be from working from home it could be a counselor it could be a healer it could be like through like zoom calls or something or it could be a therapist you know all those things it doesn't have to be though guys just take it as it resonates and aquarius they are the change makers we are going into the aquarius age right now where things are more internet based we're we're really kind of channeling that the hippie movement that was meant to kind of move forward from this from the 60s you know like really bringing in that love heart opening gentle you know authentic authenticity this person could be an aquarius or they could be like an aquarius rising or moon where they have a very strong need to change and uplift humanity which is what aquariuses do they they change the the mundane they go against the grain where everybody else is like no i'm going to go over here these these types of people like to really kick things into high gear because they don't want to see people fail they want to see people be the most authentic self and this person is a really non-judgmental person and if you're not wanting a certain person or you're already with somebody this is just showing me that you're finding your career or you're finding your life purpose and it involves kind of shifting humanity in a way that is most authentic so you're probably an extremely authentic person who's very spiritual and just wants to love and be loved and i feel like that's what's coming into you also i'm getting a really strong message some of you guys are really um on the high 5d path like you are possibly from um you're a star seed you're a mystic you're a channeler and and a lot of the times is people like that do have the the worst end of the stick you know we take more time to manifest love more time to manifest abundance but it's because we are the leaders okay and i'm not saying i'm like a leader or anything like that but i'm kind of in that category because <laughs> a lot of the time is people like us who are empathic we do have quite a hard time you know a lot of the time because we're helping others to shift their vibration and therefore we kind of have to be in that kind of uncomfortable place so if you are somebody who feels like you can can vibe with that and i feel like some of you guys i'm hearing you've seen death so some of you guys put, possibly could have had a, a near-death experience or you've seen somebody pass away or an animal pass away and it's really triggered you to be on a higher path and therefore you are not meant to be here just to kind of do boring things okay you're meant to be here to uplift humanity and manifest a relationship that goes along with that okay you could also be moving house when you meet your person yeah we had the fourth house twice I love that so sun in taurus somebody who's very stable and somebody who wants to have the same energy as you so you could be a fixed sign i mean we do have two fixed signs who have taurus and aquarius so this is somebody who will bring in everything okay and what they're saying is they will have the looks they will have the personality they will want the home the family the kids the dog 
you know, they all want everything, the whole package. They are the stable package that you've been waiting for for a very, 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 very long time. And the fourth house is all about roots, it's about foundations, it's about children, self-care, you know. So all of those things are safety. It's about feeling safe and Cancerian is the fourth house. So it's like feeling really safe within yourself so you can manifest this partnership. So if you're feeling like, okay, when is my person going to come in? This is an unexpected blessing because you guys don't, I think some of you guys don't think you're going to get anyone or you don't think it's going to happen in this lifetime. Think again, think again, girl, it's going to, it's going to change your life. It's going to happen for you. Okay. And Rose Quartz will help you with that also. So if you want to get any of the crystals that I mentioned in this video um, in a customized piece of jewelry or anything like that, all the information for my shop is down below. Okay. Okay, so for you guys, I actually feel the need to pull you an extra card. So we're going to pull you an oracle card here just to give you some extra information to see what wants to come through for my lovely group number four. Okay, they're saying shuffle the cards, Vicky, shuffle the cards. I'm getting a song that's coming through. Okay, I'm hearing, don't, oh, don't stop believing. That's a good one. That is a good one. I'm hearing don't stop believing. And there's another one that wants to come out. It's like an old song um it's a st it's a police song hang on i'll get it in a minute <laughs> I'll, I'll wait into i'll channel while i'm while i'm waiting for it to come through okay so you guys got blend into the environment you have many skills and can fit into any situation take time to access or assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly okay we then have distinctive potential. Rely on your faith and knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang on in there until you re realize a goal. So you guys have been really kind of um, stuck with your energy. You're kind of thinking, I'm not going to manifest anything. It's not going to happen. And then we also have every step counts. There is an advantage in taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. So you guys have been really possibly rushing things. And... Um, Okay, I'm getting two different songs. I'm getting a song. Um, I'm hearing the song Don't Stand So Close To Me. I'm hearing uh, the other one. The one that goes one way or another. That one. And I'm also hearing another one. What is that? I don't know what it's called. It's like a sting song. It's such a big song. Like a sting or a police song. What is it? Um, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. It's not coming in yet. Okay, let's get you some more tarot. I'm here with the blending into the environment. It's kind of blending into what the whatever life throws at you and not pushing against it. Okay. Okay, I am hearing message in a bottle, <clears throat> the song message in a bottle, uh, I think by the police and also English man in New York. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So look up those songs if you feel like any of those really resonate with you. They all kind of feel like a big change is coming. That's what I'm hearing like when it, we don't stop believing. Yep, the fall, exactly. Brand new start for you guys. You guys have got really strong energy. I feel like a lot of you guys pick this group. Yes, queen. Beautiful, beautiful. That could be in the reverse as well, but I don't want to move it, so. Okay, do we want these? We don't want those. Okay. Yep, brand new cycle for you guys. Holy crap. Okay, so you're finding your passion. Black cats could be a really big synchronicity for you guys. And you're really realizing that there's, there is something new coming. You just got to wait for it a little bit longer, okay? The unexpected news is your potential as well. It's like, oh wow, like. I didn't realize that this is going to be this good. I feel like you're going to manifest something. You'll be like, really? Like, I didn't know it was going to be that good. Um, and also for you guys, I'm picking up on uh, somebody just unexpectedly coming in and messaging you. That's what I'm picking up on. Just somebody just really being interested in your work and what you're doing. And they want to invest in you. So they could be like an accountant. They could be a financial advisor, something like that. But I'm hearing you've got a business that they want to connect to. And you guys, all this strength and all the things that you've been going through has been worth it. Like you're going to manifest somebody who really cares about you. Okay. And underneath the deck, we have the Seven of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. So you think that things aren't moving, but they definitely are. Okay. That's just confirmation. And all the things that you've gone through that have been really bad, massive shift for you. Okay. So we have practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. 
Underneath the deck we have writing, so you guys could be writer, writers, the person you're connecting to could be a writer as well. Somebody who could also be a teacher, which is why I'm getting young teacher, the subject. <laughs> oh, they could be a teacher of children. Okay, we love that. So they are very, very connected to children and young energies. And then we also have protected. You are safe and supported while you change your career. So for some of you guys, you could change your career. They could, they could also be changing their career, the person that I'm connected to in this reading. And I feel like for you guys, you may think, okay, why am I not manifesting anything yet? And it could be because you need to kind of still work on the energy that you're working on right now to get that final learning lesson from it so you can actually manifest this new situation, okay? Let's get one more card here. The sun, yay! So massive amount of newness coming in, feeling really fulfilled and happy and like you're on the path as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like to have a look at my crystal shop, that is also down below. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.